So I've been struggling with something for quite some time, trying to AB processors, and I think I found the solution. Now, if you have Adobe Atmos Home Theater, you need to pick up the Spatial Audio Calibration Toolkit. It is the cheapest upgrade at $99 that will have the biggest impact in your Dolby Atmos home theater. Get ready to change movie night forever in your home. Go to spatialcd.com and pick up this bad boy today. So here it is, 32 channels, go into this, well, 16 channels and then 16 channels and put out eight channels and eight channels going to there and there. That's, that's it. Like if I have all the speakers in the same place, the same amplifiers, is there a way I can just quickly swap out the processor, meaning the source, and then they feed the same amplifiers to feed the same speakers. And then we can do a proper AB, maybe with the touch of a button, I figured it out. And not only is this gonna help out with processors and trying to AB them to compare them, but this is also a huge, huge, huge thing for Dolby Atmos mixing rooms. And I'll get to that part in a little bit. So what we have here is the Acurus Act 4 16 channel processor. I think it also does five subwoofers as well. And the Marantz AV10, which is also a 16 channel processor that can support four subwoofers. So we got these two processors and we've got these two amplifiers. These are the Acurus M8 eight channel amplifiers. Essentially, what we need to do is find a way to where we can switch with the touch of a button so that we can actually hear a difference. We can hear what one processor does with the movie and then quickly switch to the second one, still using the same amplification and still using all the same speakers that are around my studio. Big shout out to my Sweetwater tech, Ryan Sloan, for helping me figure this out. You're the man. And the solution, ladies and gentlemen, is the Radial SW8. As you can see from the rear panel of the SW8, we are going to need a different kind of connector. That being a DB25 to XLR cable, either male or female, for all connections. And for this connection video, I will actually be connecting up my 16 channel audio interface so I can go back and forth from creating Atmos and then listening to Atmos on a consumer product to make sure there's proper translation. And if there's anything I learned creating all the 160 tracks on the Spatial Audio Calibration Toolkit, I know for a fact that whatever you do in Atmos creation doesn't necessarily translate perfectly to consumer Atmos products. So that whole experience that we're getting, I can now fine tune it so I know exactly what's happening. And I can do that all with the touch of a button from my main listening position, switching 16 channel sources with the SW8. Oh yeah. So that's why I spent all this money on the right cables and the right products to make sure I can switch back and forth between Dolby Atmos creation and Dolby Atmos consumption. And at the same time, I do have the ability to AB 16 channel processors right here in my space. So let me know in the comments down below which 16 channel processors you wanna see go head to head here in my studio. And who knows, it might not just be a YouTube video. We could do a live event where you can come check that stuff out for yourself and hear the differences in person. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Of course, as always, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. We'll see you the next one. Peace.